each evening from December to December. Before you drift to sleep upon your cot, think back on all the tales that you remember of Camelot. I'm a journalist by trade, and I'm a lifelong political junkie, and I've always been fascinated by the Kennedys and specifically Jackie's role in crafting the mythology of that family, of her husband's administration. And I'd always thought that, like so many women in history, she had never really gotten her proper due. Most times when Jackie Kennedy is portrayed in popular culture, it's through the lens of her style, her elegance, uh, people talk about her marriage. Uh, but I never thought that she got the credit that she deserved for being really a genius of marketing, public relations, um, image creation, and myth-making. And so I always thought that was ripe territory to explore. Ask every person if he's heard the story. And tell it strong and clear if he has not. That once there was a fleet. When exploring Jackie Kennedy, I, I chose to focus on the week between her husband's assassination and his burial uh, for a number of reasons. First, I'm just simply just not a fan of cradle-to-grave biopics. Uh, I always think uh, it's more productive in terms of if you're trying to illuminate who a person was to find a specific moment in their life, uh, especially if it's a moment when they're going through some sort of crucible, I find that that's oftentimes says more about who they were than trying to cover every event uh, in the course of their lifetime. And when I started to do research on Jackie Kennedy, I discovered that she coined the term Camelot mere days after her husband's assassination. And that was sort of the eureka moment for me when I realized that here was a woman who had just sat next to her husband and watched him murdered, uh, was, you know, not to be too gruesome, but covered in his blood, uh, had to go home and console two grief-stricken young children, had to deal with moving out of the only home that she'd known for, 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 for a number of years and contemplate what her life would look like moving forward. And at the same time that she had this presence of mind to recognize that this was her last opportunity to solidify her husband's legacy and that she chose this reference uh, in popular culture, this Camelot reference, I just thought it was extraordinary uh, and that that was all happening again over the course of a single week. People like to believe in fairy tales. Don't let it be forgot that for one brief, shining moment, there was a Camelot. Pablo was very clear when he and I first started talking about the script that he did not want to try to present one version of Jackie, one definitive truth of who she was, that our job was to present various facets of her because all human beings are multifaceted and it's hard to say a person is one thing. And, I, and in the film, you see a spiritual damaged side of her when she's talking to the priest. You see a very calculating side of her when she's talking to the journalist. You see her in a you know, previous incarnation when she was first lady in that White House tour selling a certain vision of her husband's uh, administration and selling her love of American history. Um, and, and you see her in private conversations with Nancy, um, with Bobby, uh, and what she was like behind closed doors. And those are all different elements of her. And I think one of the extraordinary things uh, about Natalie's truly exceptional performance is that she's able to capture all those facets of Jackie, and you can sort of see those subtle differences in how she dealt with people, how she spoke. Um, it's a really nuanced portrait. The fact that Pablo's from Chile uh, frees him or freed him of a lot of the preconceptions and the baggage perhaps that an American filmmaker might have brought to it. Um, I th when you grow up in this country, you, you are instilled with a certain reverence for the Kennedys. You, you know, a lot of us have been, talked, have been told about them since we were kids. Um, you know, I recall as a child, my mother saved the newspapers and magazines from that week when Kennedy was killed, and she would show them to me when I was a kid because it resonated so much with her. Uh, she remembers what that was like being a schoolgirl. Pablo grew up free of all of that, and so he was able to approach it from a truly fresh perspective and really look at Jackie Kennedy not as an American icon but as a woman 
and I think that uh, is really one of the keys to the movie's success.